everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another Roger Williams Park Zoo, Zoo School segment. I'm Jen, and today I'm gonna to introduce you to one of my very favorite friends. His name is Zazu, and he is a hornbill, just like in The Lion King. Now Zazu wasn't actually in The Lion King, but that's where he gets his name. Hey, little buddy. Hi. Do you wanna come out and meet some friends? So I have some toys for Zazu because sometimes he likes to get started just exploring a little bit and looking at toys. I do have some of his favorite foods. Oh, he already spotted them. So here, oh, oh, and you're gonna feed me. Thank you, I'm very hungry. Can I have that? Oh, well, he decided to eat it, which was pretty silly. Um, so inside these little holes are mealworms. Mealworms are actually beetle larvae. And in the wild, Zazu would be eating things a lot like this, a lot of different insect larvae. Of course, Zazu's never been wild, uh, but he still has those instincts. So it's really important for us at the zoo to give him the access to, uh, to different foods in creative ways so that he can have fun being a hornbill. So if you can imagine a hornbill in a tree, uh, they would have, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about a tree, you have bark and there are little holes where bugs live. So animals like Zazu can actually use that big long beak to break open the bark and pull apart bugs. So he's giving you a nice demonstration about uh, what that might look like. Let's see, now here I have just an Easter egg. I think you got all those. Oh no, you have a couple more. You have a couple more in there. What do you think? You want to try? Shake it up a little. What do you think? Can you get them? There you go. Oh, thanks. You can have another one. There's one more right there. Can you get it? Yay, Zazu, great work. Let's see, so this I'm gonna make a little bit trickier for him. I don't think he can open it, but I bet if I leave it like this, I wanna see if he tries to open it up. Let's just see. Well, <laughs> it wasn't very hard. Oh, Zazu. What you can see now is actually something that I love. Um, hornbills in the wild, actually, the, the males will feed the females. So Zazu is just offering me a little snack as if I were his, his uh, wild hornbill friend. Huh, is that it? So you can see he liked these two feeders. He has some toys here. What's this? What can you do with this? What if we hold it up that? No? I think he's still looking for a snack. What about this, Sasu? Take this away. What about this? Can you catch it? Ready? Oops. <laughs> here, let me try one more time. Ready? Catch. Well, sometimes he catches it. I'm not I'm not an athlete, you guys, I have to tell you. Um, but that's okay. for um, the birds that are living in your backyard using just materials you find at home or out in nature. Here we have some pine cones. And if you don't have an allergy, you can put some peanut butter or different nut butters inside, put them outside. For local birds love to eat, eat um, bird feeders that you can make at home. If you're not sure where to get started, we'll post some links in the comments and we love to hear from you. So if you have any pictures or stories that you can tell us about you feeding birds in your backyard, please post them in the comments. Thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next time.